Hey guys, Dwayne here. Welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all. I want to show y'all my coffee table that I literally tried to revamp a few times. I went from trying to upholster the top to make it nice and comfortable to just literally side eyeing this coffee table every time I came in a room. I couldn't stand it. It was too big. It was too wide. And it just oh, sucked the life out of the room. So I decided to remove the bottom of the table because I said, you know what, maybe it just needs the bottom removed, you know, to make it a little lighter. And then I don't know what happened, y'all. All of a sudden the table was completely dismantled. I don't know. I don't even know what happened. But yeah, I took the table completely apart and it wasn't um, it wasn't planned. I just kept chipping away. And, and then before I know it, the whole thing was apart and, and there was pieces everywhere. But anyway. I tried to put it back together the best way I could and the whole thought process was to make this table narrower and to make it shorter. So once I took all of the legs off and basically got the base all separated, I measured how wide I wanted the coffee table to be and how tall I wanted it to be. And it wasn't that hard. I actually used my first saw. I just basically put the table back together, laid it out the way that it was prior to, and just used all of the hardware that was already existing with the table and applied my feet back on, onto the table. And like I said, it wasn't hard. It was just a matter of reconstructing it the same way that I took it apart. Now the trickiest part about this table is, I know you guys saw at the beginning, is that it lifts up. So I had the biggest problem with trying to get the hydraulic lift off of the wood because this table was, oh, it's a really good quality table at that, but it was like fused and wasn't coming off. So I ended up taking it outside and beating the crap out of it and it came off with no problem. And so once I got that off, then I took the top of the table to Home Depot because I was going to ask them to cut it. And it was like, no, ma'am, we will not be cutting that. It's a liability. So I had to get um, some new ideas, which I headed on over to the um, shelving section and I picked out two melamine boards. And I really like these boards because they are very white and clean and they just look so nice. And so I found the board that I was looking for and I ended up purchasing two. Once I got my tabletops, I bought some clamps and then I clamped it down to the table and then I went underneath it and I secured the tops of the tables to that hydraulic lift. And from there, I was able to attach my tables together using wood glue as well as screws. So once the table was all put back together, now it's time to make the table look cute. And like I said, you know, I had to get my marble game up because you're not winning nowadays if you don't have marble and gold in your house. Holla! But yeah. I ended up going with this really pretty matte marble paper that I purchased from Amazon and I'll try to find it and link it in the description box below because it looks so good. It looks like Carrera marble and you can spill stuff on it. It wipes off with no problem. So I'll try to link that. But the contact paper was easy to apply. I just cleaned the um, surface with alcohol and then I unrolled the end of it and just kept moving from one side to the next so once I finished with that now it was time for me to put those um, storage areas back together so again I went to Home Depot and I found um, some really thin board and I ended up buying a hacksaw to cut it all right guys, so here was the old table, real big and clunky and taking up all my very necessary needed space with the storage that it had. 
and that is the new one. Don't it look good, y'all? Yes, it looks so good. All right, so basically, um, I just, like I said, I put it back together the same way that I took it apart. And you can do this with pretty much any furniture that you have. If you take something apart, record it, and that way you know how to put it back together. But a little bit of imagination went a long way in this case. And I love it, guys. I love this table now. Only thing that I was a little nervous about is that it's Bay's table. And um, he wasn't happy that I tore his table up. But I think that he can appreciate the new space that we gained. And it also made the room look brighter because that dark base at the bottom, oh my God, was sucking the life out of the room. So yes, y'all, this is my new coffee table, okay? And I'm loving it. Oh, and look, I got my storage. Holla! If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna leave a comment, that's cool too. All right, guys, you already know, stay you, stay beautiful, stay chic, on a budget, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.